Cancer. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Rocks. Hey, I am going to do your February 2018 monthly general reading. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would so very much appreciate that. So, Cancer, for this month's reading, I am using the Celtic Tarot. It's the Hermit on the front. Beautiful deck. I I'll just show you guys any more of the box because so many of you ask. So that is the deck. The front of the cards are red. Beautiful. Light picks it up nicely. Very slippery cards though. Very slippery. Okay. Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Cancer, just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate, look at your moon, your rising signs. And guys, I always suggest you should do that anyway. You know, it gives you a better picture. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising, February 2018. Your love monthlies will be out right after these. I'm changing it up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do the Celtic cross spread for this uh, month's readings. If you guys have been watching your other signs, you probably already know that. Those of you that would like to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, get a private reading. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. I would love to have you guys follow me on Instagram. I do upload, draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every single day. Facebook, it's where it all began for me. So I want to go back and really start every day doing live dailies on Facebook. I've done it a few times. I absolutely love it. So I'd love to have you guys join me there. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So this definitely could be your energy. Very loving, caring, generous. Queen of Cups... Also very intuitive. For some of you, maybe another water sign could be important. Another Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I do feel for some of you that you are listening and following your intuition and your heart. Mostly, like, really following your heart. When it comes to moving forward with something... Because the overall energy is the Six of Swords. I love it in this deck. Right? So, you know, obviously this is moving from, you know, very turbulent, rough times to much more calmer, smoother, peaceful signs. You know, she's pointing directly right at the sun. Like, it's right there. That's where we got to get to. You're moving toward that. Moving toward peace of mind. Some of you mentally moving forward. You know, for others of you, you absolutely could be traveling. You could be physically moving to a new home. Some of you may be moving up within the company that you work for. Others of you moving toward a new, a new job. We are starting out with the beautiful sun card. <laughs> Look at that little baby. Love it in this deck. So, this is you being in a, in a really good place. Feeling very happy, content. This is vitality, more energy. Some of you could be literally, I mean, shining brightly in some way. Because I really, because I also have the Eight of Pentacles under that. Some of you could be receiving recognition, receiving a promotion, a raise. You're definitely moving forward. 
Definitely. Some of you definitely are traveling. Some of you are definitely going on a cruise, I feel like. Definitely. Yeah, some of you definitely are going on a cruise for sure. But it's also, you know, some of you definitely could be receiving, receiving recognition, receiving a promotion, raise. Some of you absolutely could be starting a new job. You're working very hard. People are, people are definitely noticing you with the energy of the sun. I feel like no matter how you could relate to this, I do see you ending very, ending a very difficult cycle with the Ten of Swords. The worst is now behind you. And I really do think that with the energy of the sun here, you're starting to see that, literally. You know, you've been going through difficult times. Somebody betrayed you, lied to you, stabbed you in the back. You know, whatever this difficult cycle was, you're starting to feel that. You definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you're moving toward the light. It's it's really quite beautiful the way I'm seeing it here. It's like it's like you know that the worst is behind you. And I see you charging away from it too. With the Knight of Swords being under it. I literally see you charging away from this difficult time within your life. I'm going to be honest, guys. I just did Aries. And you guys, I, you watched me shuffle the cards. They had the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords in different spots. But they had those same three cards. If you just happen to, your moon, your rising... I mean, your Venus sign for love happens to be in Aries. But definitely moving, moving away. Charging forward. I definitely see some of you moving towards a new job. You know, with the end of Pen with the Eight of Pentacles, you know, you're working very hard. Putting in a lot of time, energy, and effort into your work. Some of you are definitely like receiving recognition. Communication. See what else I'm getting out of this eight of pen out of this eight of pentacles because it is much different. Like some of you, I feel, are definitely, definitely going on a cruise. You're definitely to a warm, sunny place with the sun. But the Eight of Pentacles, you know, some of you, maybe, you know, you could be trying to start like a family business as well. Whatever it is, though... You could have li literally just received maybe communication or an opportunity and that's what you're moving towards. If, if this is a new job, I really do see you being very happy. You're surrounded by this beautiful, blessed energy of the sun. I definitely see many of you moving toward peace of mind, leaving a difficult cycle behind you. I do think for some of you, you're worried. Because I also have the Nine of, of Swords. Some of you are definitely in the mind 
you know, fearing the worst, over worrying, analyzing, up all hours of the night, losing sleep over this. Maybe you have been trying to like, you know, get that new job. And this is something that you've really been thinking about, worrying about. But I also do see this coming to an end. You know, the Ten of Swords, for some of you, I mean, it is in love. We have these red roses. Whatever it is for you, no matter how you resonate with this, it's coming to an end. You know, the Ten of Swords is the ending. You know, you, you've gone through the worst. And also with the Six of Swords, I really do see many of you leaving this behind. So if you're someone that's really been worried about something and stressing out, I absolutely see you moving away from that. Even with the Knight of Wands here. You know, this spread is very, very interesting, um, Cancer. I, I'm going to be very honest. You, know, you, have, you have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords. You know, both of these energies are... are, are both of these knights, you know, are, are hasty, very fast paced, moving energies. So again, I do see many of you charging away from that. It's It really is like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're moving forward and you're doing it very, very quickly with the energy of the Knight of Wands. Because you know, this could be that sudden energy, things happening you know, very, very fast, and you're fiery, ambitious, you're ready to you're ready to go and move forward. And it really could be because you're receiving information, receiving an offer, receiving something that allows for you to be able to move forward. I also have the Six of Pentacles. You know, this is that giving and receiving. You know, some of you are definitely receiving something. It doesn't always have to be monetary. You know, but whatever it is, this man's, this person is being very generous. You know, there's hands being reached out here. You know, there's giving and receiving. It's sharing. It's being generous. Some of you are absolutely receiving something this month that allows for you to move forward. And I think for many of you, you've been waiting to receive whatever this is, this opportunity, this information. I also have the strength card. And this is about control. This could be... You needing to go within, relying upon that inner strength when it comes to you know, having to wait for something. It also represents taking back your control, taking your power back, taking control of a situation. And, and then charging forward. So whatever this is, I could clearly see that you are very passionate about whatever this is. I feel like this is something that you really, really want, whether it's moving up within the company that you work for, moving towards a raise or a promotion, even moving to a new home. This is something that you have been waiting on. The sun is the most positive card in the entire deck. I see you shining bright. I see you very focused on something, putting in a lot of time and energy into that. And feeling really good about the progress that you're making or the acknowledgement that you're receiving. Guys, things really are improving for you drastically this month. And you really are seeing that this month. 
You absolutely are seeing that. I'm not even going to clarify because that's just... Let's see what we get with the uh, messages from your angels. For additional guidance, clarification for cancer. Cancer. Sun, moon, dragon, cancer. February 20th. Oh, yeah. I definitely want it to come. Wow. You can't make this shit up. Honest to God, Carissa, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Amazing confirmation. You are absolutely ending a cycle within your life. And moving on to the next cycle or chapter within your life. And it's going to be... Beautiful, because happiness literally, literally is awaiting you. You're moving right towards the sun, literally. And you have the sun. It's amazing. Wow, yes, this is your soulmate. Well, if some of you are moving toward a new love and it's a soulmate... Leo is really coming through strongly. With, you know, with the sun, the strength, Leo. Maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or another. An, um, Sag or Aries. But I don't, I'm, I'm really feeling Leo very strongly. So if you're a Cancer dealing with the Leo, that's who you're moving forward with. And that is definitely your soulmate. Beautiful. Beautiful confirmation cards, really. Guys, beautiful reading. One of the nicest so far, really. No, Aquarius had a beautiful reading too. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, look at that. Because that was their birthday month. They had a very nice reading. Alright, Cancer. I hope it helped you guys out for the month. If not, definitely look at your moon, your rising signs. Love monthlies are right behind this. So I will see you guys back here very, very shortly. Until then, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.